welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather everyone there together at home and enjoy some family yoga time together. Now today we've got a lovely adventure based on the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar and along the way we learn what it's like to go from being a caterpillar into being a butterfly. We also learn to do some counting, some days of the week and how to eat healthily. It's a very lovely story and I hope you love it. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our heart and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. There. And now we're ready to begin. And today we're going to do The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle with some extra fun bits to make it more fun for yoga. It's going to be great. We begin our story in the light of the full moon. Coming up to stand, take your legs wide and your arms wide, making yourself as big as you can be. Now in this lovely full moon, we find a little egg lying on a leaf. Coming all the way down to your knees and tuck yourself up into a tiny little egg shape. One Sunday morning, the sun came up and the little egg went pop. Coming up to crouch, after three, let's do a big pop jump into the air. Ready? One two, three, pop! Yay, well done everyone! And out wiggled a very little and very hungry caterpillar. Lying on your belly, hands under your shoulders, point your toes, wiggle, 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 wiggle. He looked all around looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I wish I could find something to eat. But he couldn't find anything. So he huddled back onto his little leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Monday, the sun came up again and the little hungry caterpillar wiggled forwards onto your bellies, everybody, onto his leaf, looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat when along came a very happy little dog. Tuck your toes and lift your bottoms up to the sky. Woof, 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 woof. The little dog gave the hungry caterpillar one apple. And after thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs wide. He leant all the way forwards and he ate up the apple. <laughs> After eating it, he rubbed a hand on his tummy and he patted his head at the same time. Mmm, that was tasty. But the little hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he wiggled back onto his little leaf, tucking yourself up again into a tiny little ball to fall back to sleep. On Tuesday, coming up to sit, the sun came up again and wiggling forward onto his leaf, the hungry caterpillar came out looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a horse. Coming up onto one knee, everyone, lift your arms above your head. The horse gave the hungry caterpillar two pears. And after thanking the horse, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs in butterfly pose, practicing for later, joining the soles of your feet together. Sit up tall and flutter your wings. He leant all the way forwards to eat up the two pears. After eating them, he sat up, rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Mmm, that was tasty, but the hungry caterpillar was still 
hungry. So he huddled himself back up onto his leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Wednesday, the hungry caterpillar woke again and wiggled forward onto his leaf, onto your bellies. Wiggle, 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 looking for something to eat. Mm, I'm so hungry, I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a cat, coming up onto all fours, everybody, hands under your shoulders. And the cat gave the hungry caterpillar three plums. After thanking the cat, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs out long. He leant all the way forwards to eat up the three plums. <laughs> After eating the plums, he rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Mmm, they were tasty, but the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Thursday, the sun came up again and the hungry caterpillar wiggled forward onto his leaf. Wiggle, 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 wiggle looking for something to eat again. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a camel. Coming up high onto your knees, tuck your toes, hands on your hips, press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back and lift your heart to the sky. The camel blew a raspberry. <laughs> and afterwards gave the hungry caterpillar four strawberries. After thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs in turtle pose. Take your legs in front of you and bend your knees. Take your hands down in the middle and wiggle them under your legs like turtle flippers. The hungry caterpillar ate up the four strawberries. <laughs> After eating the strawberries, the hungry caterpillar rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Oh, that was so tasty! But the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf, tucking himself up to fall back to sleep. On Friday, the sun came up again and the hungry caterpillar wiggled forward onto his leaf. Wiggle, 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 looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a dinosaur. Coming up to stand, take your feet wide and hold on to your ankles. Here we go. Clump, 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 clump. The dinosaur gives the hungry caterpillar five oranges. And after thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sits down in boat pose, lifting up one leg, lifting up two, lifting up one hand, lifting up no hands. Give me a wave to eat all five of the oranges. Ready? Mm. He sits with his legs crossed, rubbing a hand on his tummy, patting his head at the same time as he says, mm, they were tasty, but the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf tucking himself up into a tiny little ball to go back to sleep again. On Saturday, the hungry caterpillar was rolling around on his leaf, lying on your backs. Take your arms out wide and lift your knees. Roll your knees over to one side and take your head over to the other. Then swap sides, lifting your legs over to the other side and your head to the opposite. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a lion. Coming up to sit, everybody, on your knees. 
The lion gives the hungry caterpillar a big friendly roar. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Yeah! And he gives the hungry caterpillar lots and lots of food. The hungry caterpillar is so excited, he decides to make himself a ginormous sandwich. Sitting with your legs out long, he butters his bread. Hands to your middle, here we go. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Then he fills his sandwich with all of the amazing fillings that the lion gave him. Twisting one way for one slice of chocolate cake. Ooh. Twisting the other way for one ice cream cone. Ooh. Twisting again for one pickle. Ooh. Twisting the other way for one slice of Swiss cheese. Mm. Twisting again for one slice of salami. Mm. Twisting again for one lollipop. Mm. Twisting again for one piece of cherry pie. Mmm. Twisting again for one sausage. Mmm. Twisting again for one cupcake. Mmm. And twisting again for one slice of watermelon. He reaches up, bending his knees a little bit to put the top slice of bread on his sandwich. Ooh. Then, crossing his legs, he folds all the way forwards to get hold of the ginormous sandwich and eat it all up. <laughs> and after eating it, the little hungry caterpillar doesn't feel very well. Ooh. And later that night, he gets a dreadful tummy ache. He rocks and he rolls, holding onto your knees. Squash a tomato under your chin and then rock and roll. Here we go. Whoop. Ooh. And again. Whoop. Ooh. The poor hungry caterpillar decides to phone the doctor. Sitting with your legs out long, he picks up the phone and dials the number. Beep boop boop beep beep boop boop beep beep boop boop. Oh, hello, doctor. It's the very hungry caterpillar. Oh, you ring me back. Okay, okay. Speak to you in a minute. Bye. The doctor's going to ring him back. Bring bring. There he is. Let's answer the other telephone. Uh, hello, it's the hungry caterpillar here. How can I help you? Oh, hello, doctor. Thanks for phoning me back. Oh, yes, I've got a dreadful tummy ache. Oh, go to bed and not eat unhealthy foods. OK, I'll try that. Thank you very much, Doctor. Bye. He puts the phone down and he takes the doctor's advice, lying himself down in his bed to rest and get over his horrible tummy ache after eating that ginormous sandwich. On Sunday, the hungry caterpillar wakes up again and decides today that he's going to eat something healthy. He finds himself a big, beautiful tree. Coming up to stand, bring one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up nice and tall and open your arms making beautiful, wonderful leaves. Very good, everyone. The hungry caterpillar climbs up the tree. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we up we up we go. He finds himself a delicious leaf folding all the way forwards and lifting it up and he eats it. Mm. And after eating it, the hungry caterpillar doesn't feel any hungry anymore. But when he looks down at himself, he sees that he's not a little caterpillar anymore. 
No, he's a big fat caterpillar. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Oh. He decides to do some exercises. He does some running on the spot. He does some jumping up and down. Boing, 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 boing. He swishes and stretches like a windmill. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Swish, swee, swish, swee, swish, swee. And he decides to do some silly dancing. After all of that, he builds himself a cocoon. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Then breathe in as you lift up and lift yourself like a lovely little cocoon. Now the hungry caterpillar stays in his cocoon for more than two weeks. And after that time, he starts to nibble through it. He uses his legs to kick. Take your feet down and your hands down. Come up onto all fours and lift your bottom. Step one foot forwards and do a little kick. Whoop. And again. Whoop. And then he wiggles out to find himself a beautiful, stunning, rainbow-coloured butterfly. Joining the soles of your feet together, hold on to your feet and flutter your amazing wings. He shows off the colours on one wing. One, two, three. And the other, one, two, three, wow. And can he show both together? One, two, three, wow. Wow, well done everyone. After that, after pretending to be the little hungry caterpillar turning into a butterfly, we feel ready to take a little rest. So we lie ourselves down all the way back. And we put one hand on our tummy and one hand on our chest. We take some deep breaths. And we think about this funny story of the hungry caterpillar and what he learnt along the way. Certainly he learnt a lot about eating. But there are lots of foods to try in the world. And there are some that taste nice in our mouth, but our body isn't so happy about them. And usually our bodies will tell us. That's why we get a little tummy ache. But if we eat natural foods, then we often feel good. Just like the hungry caterpillar eating his leaf. Then his body felt amazing. And so did his mind and he was able to grow into a beautiful butterfly. We rest here. And then it's time for us to start to wake. We wiggle our toes, our fingers, and we hug our knees into our chest. We roll onto our sides and we come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for doing the story of the very hungry caterpillar with me. You were great. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. That was great. Well done, you. Now, let's get the volume turned up, get ready to sing, to dance, and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called hot air ballooning, where we do our hot air balloon move. Ready?
Now it's time to stand up straight. We've got to go. We can't be late. We're moving. No snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot, hot air ballooning. Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one. Lift up two. Put down one. Put down two. Going up. Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot, hot air ballooning. Let's hop and jump in. Then we wave and start to sing. Now cross your legs and sit down. Cup your hands around your mouth and blow it up, good and big. We're soaring through the sky, rock a rock a rock a bye. We're moving, no snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning, 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 hot, hot air ballooning. Now it's time to land on the ground, back to earth, safe and sound. Tuck up small like a mouse. We made it back to our house. Hot air ballooning. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. sandwich pose. I love sandwiches. Coming to sit down on our bottoms with our legs out long. We start with our bottom slice of bread, bending our knees a little bit so we can reach our arms up and fold forwards, laying it down. Ready? Ooh. Now, sandwich pose is really good for calming our minds, making a little bit of quiet in our day and for stretching the backs of our legs and our backs. Very good. Now, we need to put some butter on this bottom slice of bread. So sit up nice and tall, stretch your legs long and bring your hands in. Let's sing our butter song. Ready? Here we go. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Tiny bit more. Butter, butter, butter. I think that's enough butter, don't you? Now we need to do the twists to put our fillings in our sandwich. Arms out wide. Now, as we do these twists, it's very good for our digestion and helping our tummies. We twist one way and we get our lettuce. Ow. Lovely lettuce. Here it is. Pop it in. Ooh. Mmm. Arms out wide again. We twist the other way to get some cheeky cheese. Here it is. Cheese. Mmm. Arms out wide again. We twist the other way. And I think we need some tasty tomatoes. Yes. Bringing them forwards. Let's chop them. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Mmm. Arms out wide. And let's twist this way again and get another nice little bit of lettuce just to go on top. Here we go. Ooh. Yummy. Now we need that top slice of bread. Reach your arms up nice and high. Bend those knees a little bit and fold forwards. Here we go. Ooh. 
Oh, delicious. Oh, that was quick. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Dinosaur pose. Taking our legs nice and wide, we fold forwards and we clasp hold of our ankles with our hands. Now we lift up one of our feet and make a big clumpy dinosaur footprint with it. And on the other side, lift it up and clump. Now dinosaur pose is really good for releasing the lower back and helping us get better coordinated. It's also a bit of a balance challenge. Let's keep clomping about like we're dinosaurs or monsters. Here we go. Clump, 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 clump. Uh-oh. Looks like we've brought them back from extinction. Keep calm everyone and keep clumping. Clump, 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 clump. Lump. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Oh. Oh. Archer Pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms with our legs out long. We take two fingers and put them between our big toe and our second toe. We draw our knee all the way back to our armpit like we're pulling on our bow. And then we reach forward with our other hands to touch our toes, taking aim at our target. After three, we're going to fire the arrow from our foot. Ready? One, two, three. Pew! Oops, missed. Now, let's see if we can do it on the other side. Taking two fingers between your big toe and your second toe, drawing your bow back, bringing your knee to your armpit and reaching forward to those toes. Now, archer pose is very good for opening our hips, strengthening our core and giving our arms and legs a very good stretch. Let's try that target again. Reaching forwards for our aim. Ready? After three and then we fire. One, two, three. Archer pose. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace out. Butterfly. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. This is a place to learn what real life superpowers are all about. Choose a position. Lying on your back or your front, or your side, or sitting. Then get settled. Do whatever you need to do, any fidgets or wriggles, just so you feel as comfy as possible, and your body is happy to be still. Keep your eyes open for now. Now. Can you relax your shoulders? Can you relax your arms? Can you relax your legs so they feel really heavy and floppy? That's it, well done. Now that you're relaxed, can you notice your breathing? your chest and tummy gently rising and falling with each breath. Maybe you can hear it. Quiet little breaths coming in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
next time as you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. With your eyes closed, you have a big blank screen in your mind. Like a movie screen before the film starts. Listen to the words and see if you can make the pictures on your screen. It may even become like a movie. Only this is a movie that you can see, hear, smell and feel. It's the magic made by your imagination. You are out in the countryside. And it's summertime. The sun feels warm on your skin. You hear the birds chattering and whistling in the trees. You look up and see the sky as pure blue. There are a few white puffy clouds floating in the huge blue sky. All around you are open fields of green grass, rolling hills, hedgerows and trees, little ones and big ones all with their branches full of beautiful green leaves. A gentle breeze rustles through the leaves. You watch as the branches sway and hear the shh sound they make as the wind moves through the leaves. You are walking along a path of soft grass. You notice how it feels springy under your feet. You pass through a forest where the sunlight dances through the leaves of the trees. The forest opens up again to wide fields and you walk alongside a fence. Just up ahead in the middle of the hedgerow, there is a gate. You decide what colour you'd like your gate to be and make it that colour. As you reach the gate, you push it open and walk through. Now you are in a beautiful meadow. You can smell the flowers. Hear the crickets in the long grass. And you see lots of colourful butterflies. Some are fluttering around, playing and dancing in the warm air. Others are resting, perched on a flower. Their wings gently rising and falling as they drink in the sunshine and the sweet nectar from the flowers. You can almost taste the sweetness as you watch them. You breathe gently, in time with the butterfly lifting and lowering its wings as it sits and drinks. Each butterfly in this field can make a dream come true for you. A wish that is truly important to you. You don't need to try too hard to think of one. Just wait for one to pop up. It may just be a feeling or an idea you have. As soon as you know, a butterfly will flutter over to you. It lands on your hand. Its touch slightly tickles. You gently lift your hand and hold the butterfly close. You whisper your dream, your wish to the butterfly, and it understands. 
Now you have given your wish to the butterfly. You hold out your hand and let it go. You watch it fly away, off to make your dream come true. It may not happen today, or tomorrow, and maybe not next week either, but have no doubt, things will change. Not always the way you wanted, nor perhaps as fast as you were hoping for but often even better than you expect. One day you will notice a change, probably when you have stopped thinking about it. Just have faith and let go. You smile to yourself and turn to leave the field. As you close the gate behind you, you smile as you walk away. It's time to return. Take a stretch and enjoy a nice big breath in and out of your mouth. Open your eyes gently. Take a second to just sit or lie here. Notice how you feel now. Do you feel different to how you did before? There are lots of good things that come from spending time enjoying your mind. You make yourself all calm and clear, which then helps all those around you feel this too. So come and enjoy peace out whenever you want. And doing a different one each day will really help you learn how to make the most of your mind. The peace you find inside yourself makes you and the world around you a brighter and happier place. Well done you. This is Jamie. Saying peace out.